BYD have revealed yet another car. They, they're calling this a shooting brake. It's not a shooting brake. Anyway, it does look pretty cool. I like it. Here are the details of the new BYD Song L shooting brake. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon or as a YouTube member. I really appreciate your support. BYD Song L. Uh, it's a um, pretty cool looking vehicle. This is not an expensive car. I should main, I should make the point. This is the Song group of cars is actually BYD's best selling se segment of cars in their lineup. And I believe it's actually the best selling uh, name Song uh, in the world. And this, but the thing is, BYD have a range of different song models. This is one of them. It's fully electric. There's rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. And apparently it has um, all of them. Every model will come with LiDAR on the roof as standard, which is pretty awesome. Apparently it also comes with God's IB. So not God's IC, which is what most cars come with. Entry level cars come with it. God's IB will come on this vehicle, meaning the uh, high speed navigation, and the sensors on the car will be actually calibrated to properly utilize autopilot. Not Tesla's autopilot, but you get my, my point, right? So navigation should be quite good. Mainly, there's a three-camera cluster that enables the high-speed navigation. So do you guys think this looks like a shooting brake? I don't think it does at all. But um, I think it's a, a nice-looking vehicle. The bottom, the, the back of it looks like it has a, a slightly larger bottom. Um, but other than that, I think it's a, kind of a cool looking shape. Apparently, the it has a wing at the back of it that can reduce energy consumption by 0 0.88 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That's actually quite a lot. I find that, you know, surprising. That's like a reduction in an improvement in efficiency by probably 5 to 7% just from the wing at the back. Size, how big is it? It's bigger than it looks. It's actually even a bit bigger than a Tesla Model Y. It's 4,840 millimeters long, 1,950 millimeters wide, and 1,560 millimeters high. That's 190.5 inches for you guys in the United States, the length, 190.5 inches. So how heavy is it? Well, it's certainly not light. It's 2,380 kilograms, about, um, that's about 5,250 pounds. So 5,250 pounds. Compare that to say, um, to give you some context, the new Model Y L, which is a bit bigger than this, the stretched version of the Model Y, that weighs 2,088 kilograms. So it's 300 kilograms lighter and has more range and it's um, bigger. So yeah, I mean, BYD's cars, they're very, very good quality, luxurious, but they're certainly on the heavier side when it comes to EVs. What else do we know about it? Well, it comes with either 19 or 20 inch rims. The rear wheel drive version, that's the base model, has 170 kilowatt, which is 228 horsepower. And there's also a higher power rear wheel drive version that gets 230 kilowatt, that's 308 horsepower. However, the all drive version gets 150 kilowatt at the front, gets 160 kilowatt front motor, that's 215 horsepower, and 230 kilowatt rear motor. So it's gonna give you a nearly 400 kilowatt, 390 kilowatt, that's, um, that's quite a lot of power. The blade battery pack, we don't know exactly the size of it, but the existing size of the, of the Song LEV, like a, a slightly different version of this car, gets a 72 kilowatt hour battery and an 81 kilowatt hour battery for the longer range version, providing 550 kilometers of CLTC range, so about 450 kilometers of CLTC range from the smaller battery and 662 kilometers from CLTC range from the bigger 81 kilowatt hour battery, meaning probably 560 kilometers WLTP from that bigger battery. So I think this is a cool looking car. BYD has so many models now, I do feel like there's certainly some confusion, even among the most hardcore BYD fans, they will admit that, yeah, there's a lot of models and they lose track of just how many models there are. But, well, I mean, that's for China. So people buying cars in China, they have this problem. It is a problem. So many good cars now that are really, really incredibly competitively priced and so many choices, like what do you choose? Of course, in Australia, we don't, have, we don't have so many choices. We have a lot. We have 96 different EVs on sale now. Probably by the end of next year, it's going to be about 150. But we don't have anywhere near what you can find in China. Of course, in the United States, you guys don't have really any Chinese cars. But 
You will be getting some through Mexico. That's going to happen. And I can encourage you, if you want a Chinese electric car, just drive across the border, go to Mexico, and there's some pretty good ones you can actually buy there. It's legal to do this. What do you guys think? Is this a car that um, you would consider buying? What do you think of the shape of it? Do you disagree with me? Do you think it does look like a shooting brake? I've never seen a shooting brake that looks like this, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye. Guys, Geely, they own so many car brands. I think they're about to buy another car brand, an Italian famous brand as well. Very good chance that Geely buy Maserati, but they also own Volvo. They own Lincoln Co. They own Zika, Polestar, and the list goes on and on. They've also got another car company you've probably never, ever heard before called Levan. And Levan sell little micro EVs. This one here is going to cost between four to five thousand US dollars, and it's mini, but it's still safer than a bicycle. I think it's actually pretty damn awesome. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Hey guys, I've got uh, a, an EcoFlow Delta Two right here, and the Delta Pro, which is about four times bigger than this. I've used them over the past two months many times. I didn't think I would, but I've needed them. There's been electrical problems in the house. There's been uh, massive storms here in Australia. They've been absolutely, for me, game-changing, life-saving, up to 45% off sale. I'll put a link in the description, and I think that's on for the next three weeks. So click on that link. You can take advantage and get one of these batteries for a really good price. This is Geely's new, well, it's response to the Wuling Really, the Wheeling Hongwa Mini, their little electric car, which is one of the best-selling EVs in the world, and also the response to the BYD Seagull. Yeah, it's smaller than a BYD Seagull, but it's about half the price. So this thing could do extremely well. How long is it? Well, very, very not long. It's short. It's 3.1 meters long, actually. So yeah, it's not big, but apparently can fit four people. I don't know how you go getting four people in this car, but you could try. Peak power is 40 horsepower. But honestly, considering the fact this is only gonna weigh about 850 kilograms, I think 40 horsepower would be enough. Levan is actually a brand that apparently focuses on making uh, cars with swappable batteries for taxi services in China. But they didn't sell that many cars so far this year. They sold 13,000. So they're focusing on smaller cars as well to try and really take a, a section of that big market. That, that market for small cars, small affordable cars in China is enormous. We're talking millions of them sold every single year. The Levan Smurf, yeah, it's called the Smurf. And honestly, it kind of does remind me of a Smurf in some way. 